Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 29 of the Montoya Family Let's Play. We're picking up just as Avalon is getting up after sleeping in the creepy tent, and this part is pretty much just going to be about the remainder of Avalon's trip to France. So, uh, actually no, let's check out what's left in this area that we didn't get, because I just kind of opened this door and then just went off somewhere else, so... We'll have her go over here and collect all this stuff. And uh, I think there was another... There's some some other stuff that I didn't really get the previous night. Did we get this? I I don't remember. It's been it's been a week since I recorded the last part, so I don't fully remember what all I got the last part. I, I think I did. I think that just opened a door or something like that. Ooh, 1,050 simoleons. All right, so Avalon found 13 ancient coins. Uh, oh yeah, you can use those with the was it the special merchant? I can't remember if that was what they called. That was what they were called. Okay, and then I believe we found, yeah, we found that keystone. We'll go in there, check out what's there. Uh, oh, yeah, she was half asleep, so she didn't finish clearing that stuff off. So we'll just clear it and open that, check out what's inside of it. And then after that, I'll move on to seeing what's in here. But while she's going around and getting all this stuff, there is something that I wanted to discuss. And that's that I was... Oh, I already got that. Okay. Um, But anyway, I'm planning on putting this Let's Play on hold after the next part. And the reason for that is because I'm bringing back a Let's Play that I ended a while ago for Season 2. And I also wanted to have a Let's Build going on because I don't want to have just three Let's Plays and no Let's Builds. You know, I like having Let's Builds for those of you who enjoy my building videos. But I didn't want to have three Let's Plays and a Let's Build going on at once. Just because with the amount of time I have right now to make videos, I feel like that would be too many series to manage at once. So what I wanted to do was put one of the two Let's Plays I currently have going on on hold. And it's just going to be for a month or two. It's not even going to be that long of a break. Pretty much just the amount of time it takes to do a Let's Build. And this isn't going to be a long Let's Build either. I was thinking about just doing a restaurant Let's Build for the new game pack. So it's probably going to be something about the same length as my Cafe Let's Build, which is only six or seven parts. So it'll just be a fairly short break. And in my in the last part of my Let's Renovate Oakenstead series, I mentioned that I was thinking about putting... Oh, it's called... I mentioned that I was thinking about putting my Get Together Let's Play on hold, but then in the comments of that video, a few of you brought up a really good point that this Let's Play has been going on for longer. It's also at a better point to leave it off as the, there's about to be a huge transition in the Let's Play with her going off to college. And after a few of you mentioned that, I you know I, th I thought about it afterwards and I realized that that was a really good point. That really does make a lot of sense. Plus, the series has been going on for longer. And also, the series is probably going to end up being more parts than the Get Together one. Because I can see this Let's Play going on for 50 to 60 parts. Whereas, I think my Get Together Let's Play is probably going to en only end up being 40, if that. So, I think taking a short break before you transition to her going off to college is a good idea. Plus, it'll also give me a good chance to take care of some things I've been needing to do for this Let's Play, because I keep mentioning how I need to build them a new house, and taking a, a break will give me plenty of time to build that new house, since it will be a Sims 3 build, and Sims 3 builds tend to take me longer. So I'll just be able to really focus on that house instead of having to rush it. Um, I can also do some renovations to the resorts, so I can get it to where it'll get to five stars. Uh, another thing I want to do for this Let's Play was wait, make a new thumbnail, because I, I really need to make a new one for this Let's Play. The one that's currently being used a little bit out of date because I haven't changed it since giving Alex a makeover. Um, so yeah, a break will just give me some time to take care of those things. It'll, you know, make it so we have a fresh start once we go into a new chapter of this Let's Play. Because we're about halfway through this Let's Play and I feel like the second half of this Let's Play is going to be a bit different than the first half. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you'll understand my choice to put this one on hold for a little while. You know, I think either way, whichever Let's Play I decide to put on hold, I'm not going to make everyone happy. Um, but I just feel like this is the best choice. So the next part of this Let's Play is going to be the last one for a month or two. But I'm going to make the next part a special one. I, I'm planning a few things to wrap up some of what's going on in Avalon's life where she heads off to college. Uh, but anyway, back to the exploration of this tomb. I'm just having her mourn all the statues again to see if anything interesting happens. When mourning some of them, I don't think anything's really going to happen with these ones. It, I, I think it was just this one right here that really did anything particularly special. Did I get these? No, I don't think I got these. Um, so we're gonna just gonna we're just gonna have Avalon cry to these strangers' gravestones for a little while. Uh, maybe this. Maybe I should have talked while she's doing this. Oh well. Oh, there we go. That's something. Uh, do we? 
to do that one just in case, although I don't think that one's gonna do anything. And then I'm just gonna have her collect that loot, collect that loot. Uh, we'll have her get uh, this. What is this? That's... That's not gold. What is that? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, and then, uh... Ooh! Ooh, nice bottle of nectar. Oh, was that 919? Wow, 919 years old. Okay, we're gonna grab that. I think in um, a few of you said in the comments of the last part that I should have her keep the nectar and use it for parties at university. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Uh, oh, sarcophagus fragments. Nice. Okay, so then we're gonna go get this mysterious object of Amy's and see what that is. Okay, what do we have? A baseball, really? Amy is paying for someone to retrieve a baseball. That had better be like the first baseball ever made. Like sending someone down some creepy tomb to get it. Jeez, why were you even, why would you even have a baseball down here? Like were you playing catch with someone down here? I I, I none of this makes sense. <laughs> okay then. Well we'll check out what's in this room. We've got another chest over here. I don't know. I don't think there's uh, I think this is just an exit. Uh, nothing over there for sure. But we'll see if- okay, cool, we've got another gargoyle statue. And I think that's everything. I'm pretty sure I got everything that was in here. Yep. Ooh, pushable statue fragments, some money bag- oh, I gotta- I gotta sell those money bags. Oh wait, did I ever stick her hand in this hole? I don't know. Okay, well, well she's walking- oh! Awesome, 867 small- oh, that was just for all of them. I thought that was one of them. Darn, okay. Well, I mean, that's still a good bit of money. Like, Alright, we got the another thing from the French tube collection. Um, that's already cut, so I'm just gonna sell that. Oh, 300 simoleons. Oh, that's what that was for. Wait, was that? I don't know. Okay, never mind. Some 5,000... Whoa! 5,720 year old... Gralladina Fran grapes nectar worth 300. Nice. At first I thought it said that she found 5,720 grapes. That's definitely a lot of grapes. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure... I don't know, hopefully I'm not missing anything. I'm pretty sure I found everything that there is to find down here. I mean, I don't know. I, I probably did miss something, but I tried my best to find everything. Yep. Yep, I'm pretty sure we got... We got everything down here. Oh, what is this? Did Oh, whoops. Okay, we did forget one thing. I don't know. That doesn't look like it's something, anything very interesting, though. Alright, well, we finished that. So, uh, let's see what you got here. Oh, bot building. I remember that. I never really mess with the stuff from Into the Future too much. I don't know. Uh, oh, she wants to adopt another dog. Maybe someday I'll have her do that. I'm pretty sure you can't bring dogs to college. So, not really much of a point having her do that before then. Uh, I guess I'll keep this. Maybe I might sell this though, because that's a lot of money. Okay, man. And I'll keep the nectar. Okay, well, let's follow her. She goes back into town and Whoa! Whoa, I did not real I did not realize it was this late. Uh, what time did I start? I think I started this around noon. Wow, I did not realize that she spent that long. Uh, what are we at? We're on the second day, right? Yep, so we've got one more full day left on this trip. Uh, but I guess I don't know, maybe we can have her. I don't know, how tired is she? I think we can have her do a little bit more exploring before she goes off to bed. But uh, we'll give her back her, her stupid baseball. Okay, let's see. Ah, madame, you have returned my precious baseball. Thank you from the depths of my heart. It's lucky, you see, I would never dare to go into places like these ruins with that. Oh, I feel bad for making fun of her for bringing a baseball now. That is why I had to pay you to do it for me. Speaking of payment, here are some ancient coins. You'll find these scattered on many tombs that you explore. Uh, all right, nice. Okay, we got some visa points. She's a little bit hungry though, so let's find where the. I'm pretty sure there's a food merchant around here somewhere. So actually, there's a cafeteria. So I guess that's where we're gonna have her go. But there's there's got to be somewhere around here where I can have her go and get some some food. So we got a bookstore there. Uh, I know in the other in the other worlds I had food merchants you could go to and just just buy a dish from. Um, I guess I don't think they're over there. Might be over in the cafeteria. I don't know. I I unfortunately never really looked around France too closely. Okay, yeah, we can't get food here, so let's just have her go over to the cafe, which was which was somewhere. Where was that? Is this it? No, that's a house. I think it was here. Ah, there it is. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we'll have her visit the cafe. 
Should be some food there. That would make a lot of sense. Alright, Avalon Montoya just visited a French cafe. This visit is best remembered by taking photographs of all the delicious food and nectar you to make everyone back home. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so this is where the food merchant is. I don't know why I was thinking it might have been the, the relic shop, so... Uh, we'll just have a go over here and buy some food. We'll see what they have. Unfortunately, there's no one... There's no one else here. Okay, alu, masala curry, autumn salad, bagel... Uh, what else do they have? Hmm. Forever alone calzone. Aw. <laughs> Let's get some fro frog legs. I think that's a French... French dish. After she finishes up this food, I'm gonna have her go on back to the base camp, and then the next day I wanted to have her visit the Nectary, possibly with Gustav, possibly on a date, we'll see. Uh, but she's done with that, so yeah, we're just gonna have her go back. It's the next morning, and Avalon just finished up her breakfast, and we'll shortly be heading out to the Nectary with Gustav. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it, because I said something about a date, but uh, yeah, we're not gonna be able to make it that at first, but I mean, we'd still have her go out there with him and see what happens with this. When I mentioned something in the last part about her possibly having a fling with Gustav, a lot of you were all for that and uh, had some reasons that made a lot of sense. Uh, first of all, before explaining that, let me find the nectary. There it is. Okay. Um, but yeah, some of you brought up that you know things. She's kind of at a not so great point in her life. A lot has happened with uh, you know the meeting from her the whole meeting with her mom not going as planned and her dad having a fling with her best or at least past best friend and. There have also been times recently when Everardo has annoyed her, so I think she's definitely not really thinking straight now, right now, and, you know, sometimes when you first find yourself attracted to someone new, you don't really think clearly or logically, so I could see her taking her, you know, kind of love at first sight attraction to Gustav as a sign that they really belong together and that he might be your knight in shining armor and fix all the problems that she has in her life, or at least distract her from it, so I, I could see her definitely just, you know, having a, a bit of a fling with him as sort of a distraction from everything that's going on or at least to hope that she could potentially have a relationship with him and it would just fix all the problems that she has in her life, which isn't really a good way to think about things. But you know, as I said, she's definitely not thinking very clearly right now. And plus, if she does act on her att attraction and decide that she doesn't want to tell anyone back home about it, it's going to be very difficult for them to find out, seeing as she's thousands of miles away from her home. So it's you know it's pretty safe that safe bet that if she doesn't want anyone to know, that they won't find out. Uh, like as one of you said, what happens in France stays in France. Uh, but anyway, we have arrived at the Nectary. She went to the hot spot of nightlife. Okay, cool. Looks like we might have about three people here because that's what The Sims Three considers a hot spot. Oh, okay, we only got 12 hours left here, so we gotta make those 12 hours count. But uh, you know what? Let's let's ask if he's single. Let's just get out that out of the way. Um, I'm not sure. You know, she's not single, so I guess like she can't really judge him too hard if he's not single. But I mean, he probably is. Although I'm sure she's keeping her relationship status. Yeah, you know, she. I'm sure she's not telling him anything about her having a boyfriend back home. But we're gonna ask him and find out what his relationship status. All right, no partners. He is single. Uh, should we have them have her flirt with them? I don't know. I mean, they've got a bit of a relationship. Oh, no! What am I doing? No! Oh, why did I do that? That happened last- I did that last part and it did not work. Ugh, oh, okay. Whoops. Did not learn from my mistake. So, we'll- Is it raining? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It looked like it was raining for a minute. I don't think it is. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna flirt. No! No! What are you doing? What? Did our high- did that high five really offend you that much? Jeez. Someone's touchy. Uh, okay. Wow. Wow, okay. Uh, well, we'll just, <laughs> we'll just try that again. Let's see how, you know, see if he comes back. Hopefully he does come back. I don't know what that was about. I mean, I guess that means we should, just really shouldn't try to high-five him. That's the only thing she did that I think would really offend him that much. Okay, good. He's down to me with her again. I don't know why you get that offended over a high five, though. Um, but maybe we'll have time for some nectar, nectar, nectar making here. I don't know. I might be too preoccupied with things with Gustav to do that. All right, is he back yet? Okay. Well, while we're waiting for him, uh, do we have? We need grapes to make nectar, right? Do we have fruit? I don't know if we have fruit. We have fish, but I think fish nectar would be disgusting. Well, we got plenty of grapes over here, so we'll just 
go and harvest some of those. And I'm just going to keep an eye over here for uh, for Gustav to come back. Is he back yet? Nope, not yet. Oh, please come back. Where is he? Oh, is that him? There we go. I was kind of worried he wasn't, uh, wasn't going to come back. All right, okay, I'm just going to... I think we got some grapes, so I'm just going to... No, we didn't get any grapes, but whatever. We'll have her... Uh, whatever. We'll continue where we left off with him. And I'll make sure not to high-five him at all this time. All right, so we'll... Nope, 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 not going to do that. Yeah, you know, let's enthuse about dogs, see what he thinks of dogs. And then I'm just going to go for it and flirt with him. Ooh, maybe I could also have her serve some of the nectar that she found and then uh, they could drink some of that. That might be nice. Okay, this is worth... Yeah, it's worth 103 simoleons. So let's serve that after we flirt with him and then they can drink some nectar and we'll see where things go. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm kind of bored with her getting to know him, so we'll just... Uh, no. no, let's just get to the flirting and then the nectar. Okay, how will this go? Ooh. Nice, things are going well. Looks like he got over that high five. Okay, looks like it oh nice, we're actually on a date now, so we're just gonna we're just gonna serve some romantic nectar. Or wine. I don't know, it's pretty much wine. Okay, where are we gonna book? I think she's gonna have to go somewhere inside and just stick it on a counter. Yep. Okay, well, hopefully he'll uh, I wonder if we can if we can kinda get him to take some of it, or if it'll just be her drinking it. Well, at least she can enjoy a glass of it. Where are you going? Oh, okay, she's gonna go all the way over here and then sit at this table and drink it. Okay. Can we call him? No, I want him to be over here with us. Where'd he go? Where is he going? Where, where are you doing? Where is he going? Oh, okay, he's looking at more nectar. Alright, we'll just, we'll just call him on over. And then hopefully he shall come back to us. Sweet, just like other nectar. <laughs> Okay, well, let's uh, let's get back to things with these two. So we'll just uh, no, I don't know if I want to go for heal the moment kiss. We'll just oh, what is this? Astonishing aroma. The flavors of the nectar are so vibrant, with fruits and the tongue is practically overwhelmed. Or that that other one? What is it? Oh, sugar rush. That's cool. Okay, well anyway, let's have her compliment his appearance. Why is this gated off? It just feels like a little corral. Oh well. Anyway, looks like he's into us. Uh, Commenting his appearance. Uh, let's give him some flowers. Let's give him some perfect purple flowers. And uh, compliment his personality. And what else shall we do? Uh, I think if we flirt, let's ask Sign. See what Sign he is, see if they're compatible. Oh man, I remember back to back in my um oh Taurus, sweet they're cat they're catable they're compatible. Uh, but back in my in my uh what was it World Adventures Let's Play, uh, the Sim that I sent to France had the irresistible trait. So every time I would have him make nectar, I just remember you would see just these interactions of Sims trying to talk to him pile up, and I would be trying to have him make nectar, but then he couldn't because so many Sims were trying to talk to him. I remember it being super annoying and funny at the same time. Uh, but let's try an amorous hug. Yeah, these two are definitely into each other. That's... Maybe they have more chemistry than her and Everado. I don't really remember how things... I don't know. Well, I guess her and Everado had a good bit of chemistry, too. But, uh... Oh, oh, no, we did it... Okay, good, good. I was worried that we did that too many times, and he didn't really like that anymore. Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's let's do the key the moment kiss. I think he's gonna be into it. I just love the look on their face, like the, the surprise look like that they have. Aww. I actually really like these two together. Oh, Avalon has a naughty reputation. Uh, nice. Okay, uh, let's move on with this and embrace him. Man, things are going really well. What are you doing? Hmm, maybe I will ever say something to Everard about it when she gets back. I think I think there was actually an interaction in The Sims 3 where you could tell your significant oh God, significant other that you cheated on them. I was something, because I'm pretty sure it was something you could do in The Sims 3, and that I really miss that in The Sims 4. 
Yeah. Um, so yeah, we might have her confess to what she's done in France when she gets back. Uh, okay, let's. What else should we do? Uh, ask to watch the stars. That's all. That's always romantic. Oh, take a romantic photo together. Let's do that so that she can have a photo that you know she keeps from memories when she goes back. Yeah, we should definitely do that. And then we can take a picture of them taking a picture. Ah, there we go. Got it. And uh, that's always creepy. <laughs> she, someone's happy. Uh, okay, let's hold hands. And uh, I don't know if I want to have them who or not right now. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, like, she's not really thinking too clearly, so I mean, maybe I will have her go that far. I don't know. Uh, but let's ask to watch the stars. Just do something super romantic and cute like that. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to end up doing any nectar making while I'm here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have time for that. But the two of them are going to go outside and watch the stars. That'll be all cute and romantic. That'll be a nice thing for them to do. It'll be interesting to see if this whole thing between the two of them ends up panning out to be something long term or if it just ends as a fling. But I, either way, I can see Avalon getting very wrapped up in what's going on right now. Cause, I mean, it definitely does have kind of this like storybook love story feel to it. Like just going off to a foreign place and meeting someone and falling in love with them. You know, I can see it just kind of making what she has going on with Everard or just pale in comparison. We had a picture of that. I kind of want to see. I want to see what they're seeing as they look up. Oh, that's definitely really beautiful. Like the whole the whole French world in this game is really pretty. <laughs> okay, she has to pee. We should take care of that. Don't want her accidentally peeing herself on this uh this uh date here. Don't want that kind of embarrassment. Okay, where's the bathroom? We're gonna pause this so we don't have any accidents. Oh, I really do like how in The Sims 4 you can just click on the the need and they'll go and auto take care of it but we'll just have her go there that's the closest bathroom i believe and unfortunately she only has about three hours left in her trip so not too much longer kind of sad about that like, i definitely wish she had more than three days to spend here because i've just i've had a lot of fun with this trip i mean maybe I don't know, maybe when she comes back on breaks between semesters i'll have her go back to france i think it'd be kind of cool if you know throughout the rest of the let's play she would just occasionally return on trips to france I think it could be kind of a fun thing to mix in. Uh, but let's get back to uh, Gustav over here. We can give him a massage and do that. Oh, right, that toilet's clogged. Uh, let's see who else we can get lined up for these two to do. Can they woohoo yet? Uh, no, they can't. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to that point before she leaves in a few hours. But uh, we can just have her kiss him. And uh, oh, yeah, in the comments of the last part, Sophia suggested that I give Avalon a fresh inspired makeover because uh, they said that when they went to France they were inspired by the culture and everything when they came back and redid that, their wardrobe so I think it'd be such a good idea to give her a fresh inspired makeover once she comes back so she'll have a little bit of a different look in the next part uh, but let's see oh now he's getting hungry what can we do can we no I don't think this is like the no this isn't like the Sims 4 we can click on the Ben and do it from there uh, no I don't think we can Oh, we've got so little time left over here. That's why that's why I just keep pausing, because there's not a lot of time. Okay, let's try a dip kiss. No, you're not going to eat. We've only got two hours left with you. You are not allowed to eat. Oh, no. I think we have to wait for him to eat. Oh, do we? Come on. And he has to pee, too. Okay, well, I mean, we, we still had a pretty good time here. Actually, let's get a uh, shot of this. Woman's in the way. <laughs> oh, I think this was one of the outfits that came with the World Adventures. Ooh, maybe I'll give her that outfit. Yeah, that could be good. Uh, let's uh, let's make out. We'll do that, and then uh, I don't know. Should we? No, I don't think I'm gonna propose going steady because she's she's already in a relationship. So I think it would just like break off her relationship with Everado. So I, I don't think in The Sims 3 you could have multiple relationships at once. Or maybe you could and I just never knew that. Uh, anyway, let's leap into arms. <laughs> she got so excited about that. And, uh, you know, I... She is leaving soon, so we probably should give her... Oh, no! Oh! Oops. Oops, okay. We probably should have let Gustav uh, pee. Um, okay, well. I think I'm gonna have her... Uh, I think since um she's gonna be leaving soon, I'm just gonna have her kiss him goodbye. 
Or not, looks like we can't do that. Well, I guess that um, him peeing himself kind of killed the mood. So we'll just ask her to leave the day. We'll see, we'll get to see how it went before she leaves since she has less than an hour left. <laughs> kind of sucks that that had to have. Oh, what? Are you serious? Well, I, I don't care what he thinks. As far as I'm concerned, that was, that was a good day. I think that that was just because he peed himself at the end, which you can't blame her for that. I was, I'm trying to improve my nectar making operations. In order to do this, I need raw materials to create new nectar maker. Uh, Alright, well, maybe we could do that when she, she comes back to France again. We'll just, we'll just pick that so it's there when she comes back. Uh, okay, well, oh no, we'll just forget about that. I, that went pretty well as far as I'm concerned. But um, she's going to be leaving to go back home shortly, so I'm going to end this part here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and bye!